Hi guys, hope you're all keeping well and today I'm going to be doing a hardware review. Now I'm very late to the table with this, so I apologise. But it's this fella here. It's the Vandy Vape Pulse BF. Well, look at the box there guys, all the usual stuff that you require. Yeah. So what do we get in here? Let's have a quick look, yeah? So, let's have a look what we've got in here. Obviously, the actual Vandy Vape Pulse. And what do we get in the box? Seems a little bit of plastic bit else. Let's see what we've got in here. We should have... Yes, we do. We have the full instructions. As you can see, guys, it's like leaflet style. Opens up. And... All the information that you require is there. So then, let's have a look at the actual Vandy Vape Pulse Squonker itself. So, it's got 510, which is spring loaders. Now to get into this guy, oh, there is, it's a rather soft button, guys. When you're using this, you don't have to press it dead hard. It will fire. I say spring loaded 510. Now, how do we get into this? These panels are magnetic, so if you get your fingernails on these little bits here, it comes apart. I'll just demonstrate that for you now, like so. And there's the back of it, yeah? And also, the front panel comes off, like so. And as you can see, guys, in here, this is an adapter. That's an 18650 adapter. However, it does take 2700 batteries, yeah? Now, also, let's see if I can get a bit closer. Here is where the squonk bottle connects to the inside. But this little switch here is like a breaker. So if I turn that that way, that will never fire in your pocket now because I've broke the connection. And to reconnect it, you just simply push it back like so, and it's ready to go. Yeah. Okay, guys, as I say, it does take 18650 with the 18650 adapter. However, I'm not going to be using that. I've got a nice 2700. Well, what I'll do first, I shall put the back plate on first, like so. Then, just quite insert it, it's quite simply, like so. There it is, it's in place. And when reassembling it, make sure you get the squonk in the right position so you can get access to the bottle. And of course, make sure it's set to go, yeah, with that lever. Click that back, and there you have it, guys. We're good to go. Now, what we're going to do, I have the Pulse 22 by Vandy Vape as well. I'm going to screw that on top. Now, in there, I've just got a little micro coil, yeah. So, how does it perform? Bear in mind, guys, a lot of people are wary about that button. You don't have to keep pressing it in. If you hold it, let's see if we can air the fire. Yeah? Well, first, obviously, do the squonk action. Yeah, so we've got juice in there. Quite simple. It's a silicon bottle, guys. Uh, I'm not a fan of them, but in this size of device, it's ideal, yeah? So we've squonked it, and let's... Take it with a taste test and have a tooth and how it performs. And I say that's a very soft button, so you don't have to press it that hard. It will work. If you listen, guys, you probably hear it. There it goes. Fantastic. And as I say, I've just got a canful micro coil in there. And the airflow is wide open, as you can see. And that's working like a charm. I can't fault that guys. I've had it for a long time and apologies for it being late, but as I say, things have got in the way of me reviews lately, so apologies. And I thought, you know what, this needs to be reviewed. I know I'm late to the table and repeat myself. What do I think of it? Well, a lot of people don't like it because the button, they're pressing it dead hard, but trust me, you don't have to guys. Look, I'll just hold it for a while, listen to the noise. There it goes. And it works quite well on an 18650, and that's a 2700 battery. And uh, I can't fault it. I'm loving it. Yeah, and uh, 
And so with it being like sort of constructed in this lightweight material, it slices a feather. Even with the 2700 battery, it slices a feather. And it works with the Van de Vee Pulse 22 like a charm. It works with other bottom feeders as well. But that is a match made in heaven. So there it is, guys. Yeah, in all its glory. Now, guys, if you've used this, um, the Pulse, uh, by itself with the other bottom feeder, let me know what you thought of it. Or also, as I've done with the Pulse 22 on top, which I think is a match made in heaven. Share the knowledge, guys. It's not just about my opinion. That's just one. But check out other reviews and other people's opinions. So please leave them comments. And uh, can I just say, if you want to subscribe to the channel, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notifications of the next live cast or video upload so you don't miss anything. And can I just say hello to all my new subscribers? And can I say hello to all the subscribers who stayed with me? It means a lot. Thank you very much. So guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. And as I say, I'll see you in the next video or live cast. Take care of yourselves.